So I went plant shopping. So if you are interested in what I bought, then this is the video for you. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Arcad Saga. My name is Jokjan Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, today, today is Wednesday, so I'm pre-recording this. Uh, because I want to get these beauties out of the, the bags, well actually the, the paper. So I thought I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to do it now because uh, most of the times, most of you guys do really enjoy uh, the unpacking, unwrapping videos and I completely understand. I personally love them myself as well. So yes, I did uh, bought some new plants and I have been gifted some plants because I did visit uh, Rose uh, this morning. Rose is the viewer that uh, did won the uh, prize when I did my giveaway, my 1K giveaway. And uh, she uh, uh, happens to be a li living uh, fairly nearby me. So uh, uh, I went uh, to over her uh, last year to give her the prize. And then she said uh, she had some uh, plants for me, but those needed to grow a little bit bigger. So now it was the time to, uh, to visit her again and to collect uh, those plants. So we're going to have a look at those as well. And uh, yeah, I went uh, some shopping. I needed some pumice, I did find it. So that's all in stock now. And I did uh, find some beautiful orchids. So uh, let's, let's, let's go, let's start this unwrapping. And uh, probably, Inse, if you watch this video, you uh, recognize the wrapping paper, I guess. <laughs> he goes uh, to the same uh, nursery from time to time. And this time they had quite a, quite a few that I liked. I, I've been there a couple of, a couple of, over a couple of months a few times, but didn't find really some new plants. But this time I did found several of them. First of all, this one. And I think she's beautiful. It's uh, obviously a fail. And uh, yes, yeah, she has a fragrance, which I really love and a fairly uh, sweet fragrance. If you recognize this one, it, I, it didn't came with a tag with a name on it. So uh, if you recognize, please let me know. But it has several uh, spikes, as you can see, and uh, it was on sale. So yeah, I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to take it. I already found a few other ones, but I thought, yeah, for this price, six euro, six euro 50, I thought, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. It's, uh, it's fragrant, it has beautiful blooms. It obviously likes to bloom. So uh, I thought I will find a place for this one on, on my fail wall. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is the new name of the nursery. I hope you can see it. It was Orchideehove and it's now uh, Pantropica. So yeah, we are we're not completely sure how long they will keep orchids. I think they will keep them, but you never know. If the name changes of a company, probably uh, the stock will as well. So who knows? I obviously hope they will uh, keep on uh, growing orchids and, and selling them, but who knows? Anyhow, I did, uh, did find uh, this one, obviously. This is the first one. Let's put her back. Well, let's put her here. And this is the next one here we go yeah she is a beauty too for sure let's put the paper there look how bright she is i'm going to turn it around because this is a bit easier but such bright colors. I'm not completely sure if my camera does do it justice. I have a fairly similar one, but that's more with a purple lip. And this is, uh, this is more of a red color. It's almost a uh, yeah, coral type color with quite some bright yellow. And I absolutely love it. It's fairly large. I Personally, it's personally taste, of course, but I really hate these type of steaks. I really like to have them pinned pen over the flower spikes, but yeah, this is what I do sometimes. But uh, yeah, I really uh, will, uh, <laughs> really, uh, soon I will release it because I, I really don't like it. But anyhow, and I was a little bit like, do I really need another veil? I have someone that's very similar. And so I left it there and I was walking around thinking about it. And in the section of where they keep the orchids that uh, on sale, that was the word I was looking for, on sale, um, I found this one. 
And so there was only one of these types that was on sale as well for 12 euro 50. So, and originally it was, I think 20, 20 euros, something like that. Yeah, it doesn't have the original price on it anymore, but 12 euro 50. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to take you. It does look uh, very nice. It has uh, quite some nice roots in there. So yeah, I thought for that price, I can always give it away. I'm not going to give it away because I really love it, but anyhow. But look at these bright colors, right? Again, if you recognize it, if you have the name for it, please let me know. I don't have the name, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this is the second one. And here we go. Another one. Let's have a look. Woo. Some media is falling out. And this one. I saw and I thought, yes, you are coming home with me. Here we go, there we go, there we go. Let's put the papers there. Another fail, I couldn't help myself, but uh, yeah, there we go. Look at this. I absolutely love these colors. If you know, uh, if you're longer on my channel, you probably know this, but I love my yellows and the combination with pink. And I think there's some, I see some orange in there as well. And a big lip. I really love the big lip fails as well. So yeah, it's it's stunning. Absolutely stunning if you ask me. So yeah, I thought at this I knew you, like I said, you are coming home with me. <laughs> Again, it has a beautiful root system. So, uh, and it this one was 19 euros. And to be honest, I saw them on the other shelf, the first section that I entered the shop and there they were 21 euros, exactly the same plants, same uh, uh, size flowers, same height. So I'm not sure there was something uh, didn't go well, I think, with, with the price, but these were a little bit cheaper. So I thought I'm going to take this one. I did have a look, close look. I wanted the strongest one, but these were, uh, so I think they, they did mess up the, the prices a little bit. But anyhow, yeah, I could. I couldn't resist it. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, another fail. <laughs> well, I think I have uh, some room left. So here is another one. This is another orchid. And then I have two different plants from the same place. We will have a look uh, at them soon, of course. Did I buy another fail or not? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Yes, I did. Look at this one. I hope you can see it. This one I saw somewhere with a name, so I probably will find it. But again, if you know it already, please let me know. Yeah, this one they had, I think last year or the year before, but they do the, uh, do make these uh, arrangements. So different plants in one pot. And there, these were in as well, and they were about 40 euros or so. So they were a little bit too expensive for me. I really love it, but I thought I, I, I see this for sale uh, often, quite often. So I will probably see it again, but it took a while, but here it was. So now I only have the plant and that's, that uh, uh, makes them a little bit cheaper, of course. This one was 16 uh, euros. It comes from Colibri. It's, I think it's a Dutch brand and Maybe a slight fragrance, not yet, but it, it has been in, in, in the paper. So it probably needs some light. Maybe it's fragrant. I'm not completely sure, but yeah, again, I love this one. Such a beautiful shape. And again, I did try to pick the strongest one with the most leaves, even though they are a little bit folded this way, they probably will go back when I uh, take the stakes out, when there's a little bit more room for that leaf to bend over the other way. <laughs> But that will uh, will be all right. And this one actually has growing tips over here. So I'm going to let them adjust, of course. I'm obviously going to spray them. You probably know that if you saw my last video, how I let these adapt to my uh, semi-hydroponics se system. But yeah, I always wait. I try to wait for uh, if I, I'm going to repot for, uh, for new root tips. Sometimes if there are uh, pests or slugs or snails inside of the pot and I see them, I will, uh, will repot anyways, but preferably I uh, want to wait, of course. But this one I think um, is going to be uh, repotted fairly soon. But anyhow, so, so far uh, new fails. <laughs> Let's have a look. 
And again, if you're longer on my channel, you know that I do grow some other plants as well. Not much, but I have a few of them. And it happens to be that Rose, uh, the subscriber that gifted me some plants, also grows these and way better than I do, to be honest. So I did get some tips, but I'm talking about conifer plants. And this one, I, I, I didn't even know it existed. Look at this. Look at the leaves. And it's also in flower or uh, in bud. Actually, two buds. Ah, so I chose the best one. The other ones only have one spike, but uh, I, I just noticed it now. But yeah, the leaves, beautiful, right? So this is succulent plant. Yeah, frizzly sizzle, frizzly sizzle. Let me do a close up so you can check the name if you want to. But yeah, I think it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I never saw something like this before, but yeah, it's a conifer plant. Beautiful. Let's, let's see if this one likes my uh, greenhouse. I hope so. And there's another one back here. There we go. Let's have a look. Always nice opening these, these little presents, even though I know what it's in there, but I'm so happy always if I find these beautiful plants. Sorry for the noise. And again, a conifer plant. Yes, I had this one, but I killed it. So I said uh, to Rose this morning, I said, well, uh, last year my uh, conifer plants had mealybugs and some did have even have some aphids. And I thought probably they're going to eat them. Well, they don't. So uh, they can get infected with, uh, with pests. And uh, funny enough, um, so what I did is uh, the same treatment as I do with my orchids. I, I grabbed some alcohol and sprayed it on them. She said, yeah, those are not alive anymore, I guess. Well, I said, you guessed right. Rose said, they cannot take alcohol. You need to take them off one by one. There is not no spray for it. They, these are really, really sensitive. So you need to take them off by hand or, or uh, with a cotton stick or something like that. But you cannot spray alcohol on them. I said uh, I learned my lesson, but uh, but anyhow, I found a new one and I really like this one as well. So this this did well in my care, but yeah, like I said, because of the alcohol, because of the treatment. Otherwise, I probably will still have them. And I had a red variety; it was uh, very beautiful as well. Maybe uh, someday I will find it again. But this is uh, obviously the green one. It's beautiful. Does it have a name? Drosera gem. Drosera gem says it on the, on the tin. I'm not familiar with the names for these. They come with names and tags I always forget, but uh, I really like, I like them, really like the look of these guys. So I will, uh, will find a nice spot for these ones. And while we're talking on uh, carnivor plants, in another uh, garden center, yes, <laughs> I did find uh, the Venus fly trap. I also talked about this one with Rose. I said, I all, they, they always die on me. She said, mine do too. So yeah, we didn't uh, find the exact way how to treat them. Uh, I know that they need a sort of winter rest, but they are uh, trying to rest a little bit too much. They go to sleep and just never wake up. So I get the parts to put them to sleep, but I now need the part to wake them up. I will try again, but if you know, if, you're, uh, if you know these guys, if you grow them well, please let me know what I'm doing wrong. I know they need uh, our own water, do not need feed, etc. But how to winter rest them? Let them? Do I need to dry them up completely or not? I did look for a care guide, but it's not, not always very similar. So it's, I like to hear from, from people that are really experienced with these guys. So if you are, please let me know how, uh, how do we care for the Venus uh, fly trap and especially uh, the winter rest. And I have it uh, around 80 degrees on the coolest in my, in my greenhouse, but still this one uh, goes over, um, goes to sleep at winter, too much sleep. Who knows, I'm going to try again. So those were a D. Then I have this one. Did you already see it? Yes, you already saw it. This one I did find yesterday when I did uh, do my uh, groceries. 
I had a look, they have a little plant section, not much, and lo and behold, look, they had a Miltoniopsis and one that I uh, don't, didn't already have. I have a similar one, that's the one I am now looking at it, that's the um, Princess Diana, but this one is more purple. It has a more, uh, more uh, of one color throughout the bloom, but it kind of does look similar, but it's not the same. It does the lip, the, the water, this pattern over here, uh, it's not really a uh, waterfall pattern, but it's in that type of direction. The Princess Diana doesn't have, so uh, it's a fairly small one. So I think if I do well, it will get bigger and the blooms will get bigger. I'm pretty sure of that as well. I took it out of the pot and to just put it in a net pot. It's still in that cocoa fiber stuff and completely soaked. So I'm afraid that it used tap water. We shall see, but I at least thought I'm going to give it a little bit more air and hopefully hope for the best. I don't want to repot this one because the Miltoniopsis is not that easy if you uh, repot them on the wrong time. So I try to wait for a better time, but if I see a snail or slug, I definitely will repot them. I did it before, I did uh, was able, uh, I was able to save them, but they will get uh, wrinkled leaves, sometimes black spots on them. So they will have a rough time, but you can save them, but preferably just leave them as long as you can. But anyhow, a new uh, Miltoniopsis. And uh, I did lose the tag. Obviously it said Miltonia on the tag. It's uh, very annoying because it isn't a Miltonia, it's a Miltoniopsis. Anyhow, that's for another video. I'm going to make a video about uh, Miltonias and Miltoniopsis and the difference, etc. Uh, but that's for later because I had a request for some care guides. Let's see, now we're going to get uh, the, the plants that I did get from Rose. Let me first try to see if I can reach it. Because I have a mic with a wire this time. Normally I have a wireless mic, but it's not completely working as it should. Uh, just a second, you guys, I don't want to break it. Oops, there it is. Because these are very sensitive. And Rose warned me, they are very sensitive. They do break those leaves off very quickly, but it, it went well, Rose. It looks phenomenal. And she said, this is the one with white blooms, you don't see that often. And this is a type of giant uh, under the, um, in the family of uh, conifer plants. I have no idea, but they can grow very big leaves. And so she said she had a division, last, uh, not uh, today, but last time, I, the first time I did visit her. And she said, if you are interested, you probably can take it uh, next year because it's too young. Uh, but uh, I said, yeah, I definitely are interested in it. So um, this is, believe it or not, a division of uh, last year. So it's a, this plant is one year old. I said, how in the world are you doing that? She said, yeah, well, yeah, I just do, <laughs> basically. So there's nothing, not really nothing special to it, but you really are know how to grow these well. I, I hardly can believe it, but I do believe it because uh, uh, I saw it with my own eyes and she has several of them. She just, she grows these very, very well. So thank you so much, Rose. I'm so happy with this. And thank you so much you saved it for me. So she emailed me a few weeks back and it took me a while to respond. And, but Rose was like, I know you will respond to any, some ways to, uh, down the road. It may take a while. Thank you so much for waiting for me. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful. And I will try my best. I hope I can grow it as well as you do. So that is that. And then she had another plant. She said, do you want this plant? And the first, my first response was uh, like, uh, I'm not completely sure. I, I, do I have enough room for it? And then I had a quick think about it because that's how I, how I work. It takes me a minute <laughs> to know what I want sometimes. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's not an orchid, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's the queen of the night. And I saw this plant, if I'm correct, at the Nelson from Nature Nels uh, channel. It blooms at night and in early morning, uh, Roset. So it's called queen of the night. And see, uh, this is also a division she grew on. So yeah, you are doing very well with these guys. Absolutely beautiful. This might be the white one. 
uh, but it can also be the red one. She wasn't sure, but I, so I said, it doesn't matter. And she said, well, if once we know which one you have, you can get the other one as well, if, if you like. But yeah, very, very, very beautiful grown on. Beautiful looking plant, I really love it. So my plan is to put it on the ceiling, to hang it. And she said, they can get quite long leaves and maybe I can, can some way uh, attach them to the ceiling or something like that. And I'm not sure yet. I will. Uh, I need to look it up a little bit more um, about the care and if they uh, really like uh, the temperatures, etc. I'm sure we did discuss it, but uh, I'm not completely sure anymore. Maybe I'm going to email you, uh, Rose, to uh, get some uh, guides on this one. <laughs> How do I take care of it? But it should be fine, and they can grow very, uh, very well, as, uh, as Rose said, very easily, I should say. Uh, let me try to put it back. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it on the floor. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to break those beautiful leaves. So there we go. So yes, you guys, it's it's a little bit different. If I'm filming this type of video, normally I have a box. But yeah, these uh, in these nursery, I don't get a box because I don't need a box, obviously. So this was a, a little bit of an unwrapping. I still hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think it looks beautiful, the colors are behind me or next to me. So yeah, sometimes I think you're just lucky and you'll find several plants. Most of the times I don't even mention my uh, days out because I'm just looking at the orchids and I really enjoy it. And I take my cup of coffee, sometimes a piece of cake. It's just a day out, a day off, how you want to call it. And that's okay because I obviously I have so many plants already. But yeah, today uh, I did find several of them. And I'm absolutely happy with them. Thank you so much. Once again, if you recognized a few of them and you have their names, please let me know. The uh, of the orchids, of course. Uh, if you have some care guides, especially on a Venus flytrap as well, uh, please let me know. And um, other questions are welcome, of course, as well in the comment section below. So this is the video for today. I hope you liked this. Uh, please let me know if you like it with a thumbs up. And uh, for now, uh, once again, thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.